Good morning. It is Tuesday, the 21st, September. Where did it go? Honestly, September, I feel like it just started. I'm not okay with it being almost October because October is basically January. But anyway, I woke up really tired and <laughs> making myself another coffee. And I want to sleep early, but I think Frankie did wake me up a couple of times because the uh, next door neighbors kept on opening their door and I think that woke him up and he was like growling and like barking a little bit. At one point we were like, is he barking in his sleep? Like, why is he so angry? <laughs> it was pretty funny, but I still I think it woke me up and I was like half asleep for a lot of time. And now I'm paying the consequences. Um, another day where I'm just here alone with Frankie. Eric is working from the office today, but it's $5 Tuesdays at AMC and I really like taking advantage of that because it's not limited to any types of movies. It, like you could do any movie as long as obviously there's seats available. So we're gonna go see a movie called Blue Bayou, Blue Bayou, I think that's the name of it. Um, it's like an indie film. I hadn't heard of it until I was literally looking for tickets to show times and it looked really interesting So I will let you know if it actually is any good yeah. You heard that? Right? <laughs> I think he's pretty sleepy too. He's like um, yawning and stuff uh, Just gonna add some ice to this and continue working and hopefully wake up I don't want to be tired right now. I was like staring at my computer and like my eyes were closing So that's really bad. I need to get productive because I don't have the afternoon since I'm gonna leave right at 6 But yeah, welcome to a new video <laughs> Okay, I think that coffee is helping. I'm coming back to life a little bit, which I definitely needed but I got a notification that my Sephora box had just delivered. I was gonna do pick up and store because there is a Sephora. There's a ton of Sephoras everywhere, but there's one specifically in downtown Brooklyn, which is like pretty accessible to me. But you can't do the samples, like the, yeah, like the free samples for your order. And I love getting the free samples because you get to test out new products. But there was a couple things that I had run out of and I wanted to restock. And so this is one of them, the Laneige uh, sleeping mask. I've never used this product, but I know everyone raves about it. I had another uh, sleeping mask that ran out and I wanted to try like the one that everyone loves and I just got the original one. Let me see how this smells. Oh, lots of packaging. Ooh, that smells good. Just a clear and it does come with the little spatula to scoop it up and be like a little hygienic. I don't know if I'll use that. Maybe I will. <laughs> I don't know. Might be a little bit too much work. Already added to my long night routine. Okay, the other thing I wanted to try, I'm running out of cleanser. I have like the tiniest bit left and I wanted to try this Ole, Hendrick, Ole Henriksen <laughs> lemonade uh, smoothing scrub. Feels like it's not full, like there's product missing, but maybe they just, no, I mean, it's closed. So. I know that physical exfoliants, like people say don't use them, but they are good to use like maybe once a week. And I do feel like sometimes I do need like a good scrub. And um, oh, Rob Welsh, I think, I'm forgetting his name. Not Hiram, some other uh, YouTuber that does skincare actually like recommended this and he was surprised because he also doesn't use uh, like physical exfoliant. So I was like, okay, I'm tempted to buy this and um, I'm sure it's gonna be great. So this is another product. And then just with my points, I got some free samples. So this is actually like a good size. I thought it was gonna be smaller, but the Tatcha uh, Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser, the Lactic Acid like Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. Ah, focus, there you go. This is also like a pretty good size for something to be free. And then this is the Tarte wink of h2o eye cream and i like that it's just like a little bottle so i think i could just pop this in the fridge and it's something easy to use and like try out and then these you always just get like the free ones i chose the summer fridays cc serum um did i get this sometimes whenever they don't have the samples they just give you something else i feel like i might have and then the herbivore 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 yeah the retinol and this is a brand that I want to try out, so I think doing this is like 
low commitment. I just get to try it out once and see if I like it. And then another free sample. It's the Faded Topicals Brightening and Clearing Serum. And it looks like it's also a, like a decent size for a free sample. Yeah, like this is going to last me a while. But yeah, so this you just, I believe you just put it on your dark spots. And it should help with that a little bit. So hopefully these work. But literally I just bought the lip mask and the cleanser. And then I got all these other things for free. Which is great. And I'm at free shipping, which you need $50. So I'm excited to try these things. I love skincare and makeup. So this is always my jam right here. <laughs> Getting ready to leave soon. Frankie is, I'm telling you, his internal clock is off the charts he's just pacing back and forth looking at me like feed me i am gonna feed him a little early just because i need to take him out you hear him like running around um and on time need to take him out to take him need to take him out so he could go out on time before i need to take the train Whew, handful when i eat some leftover pizza that we have because i could just air fry that quickly and i should be heading out of here by like 605 hopefully so all should be good i'm excited for the movie i'm just not excited for this commute i know it's gonna take forever uh, it's the one on 40 seconds so the one on uh times square so i know it's gonna be very crowded movie fans can't get enough of america's number one movie theater membership That movie was pretty good. It was sad. I knew it was going to be sad without giving much away. Um, you could see this from the trailer. It's about uh, like the immigration status of adoptees and just kind of like they were brought here when they're so young and are considered like illegal immigrants. So it was very sad to watch and the commute back was not bad. We caught the trains like pretty fast, like within a three minute wait. So that was really nice. And right now, making myself, well, made myself another coffee, my second coffee. It's kind of like my treat of the day. <laughs> and not many plans, really. I'm just working right now. And oh, my Ulta box should get here today. If it hasn't already, I should check my email. And when it does, I will show you what I got. Okay, yes, my Ulta package just arrived. I got nervous, I didn't find it at first. And I was like, no, did someone steal it? But I got three things from here, so. I need a new cleanser. This is going to be like my everyday cleanser, the La Roche-Posay Gentle Cleanser. I like that it's a pump and it actually is bigger than I thought it was going to be. So if it focuses, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to leave this in the shower and this should be good and like very easy to use. It has, I think I saw, yeah, niacinamide, so different things and properties that are good oh it says soap free sulfate free fragrance free yeah it's supposed to be like very gentle so i think that's gonna be good for my everyday when i'm not wearing makeup oh and also yesterday i tried the ole hendrickson um lemonade scrub and it was a little harsher than i thought it was going to be but it didn't leave me red and i was like pretty much going in there but it did leave me feeling very soft and the good thing is it wasn't stripping, so my skin didn't feel dry after I washed it off, which is really great because I know that's like a big thing with physical exfoliants. But no, that one like left me feeling fine. Obviously, I moisturized after, but I could have been fine without it, honestly. Like that's how fine it left me feeling. This is just a restock. Um, I got a bigger bottle. I thought it was going to be a smaller bottle. <laughs> but I do use this a lot and mine is almost out, so... Um, I guess the big size is gonna be good, but no wonder. I guess there's like three different sizes maybe But this I literally just shake and then throw some on my hand and then just like Smack it on my face like right after cleansing and it leaves me like a good base to then apply my serums and my moisturizer And then lastly and this is the origins one origins treatment lotion by the way, that's what it's called. <laughs> and I just got the Anastasia um, Dip Brow Kit. I was really like hoping to get this and I had seen it at Sephora, but I saw that it sold out and Ulta still had it. And this whole thing was $21. Okay, got it open. Yeah, so as I said, all of this is $21 and this is such a good deal because 
the dip brow pomade itself when you buy it alone is $21 so you're basically getting the gel and the brush for free I already needed to buy a dip brow so that's why I was looking at it and when I saw that they made this kit I was like this is perfect and I don't need another brush but this does look like it's good I feel like I have this one mine is so old that this is cleared out so I don't even know the number of the brush that I already have but this looks really good and it does have a spoolie at the end and this I like things like this when I'm not wearing any makeup and I could just brush up my eyebrows and it adds like some color so I think that's gonna be really good and I like the color of it and this if it comes out there we go I just got the soft brown which is the color that I use and I really like you should see mine it's basically done it's like a cleared out container at this point so all of this was really good so definitely excited that I got my restocks and also just new things to try out and I knew what categories I needed I just didn't know exactly what products so this is completely new for me so hopefully it's a good cleanser I'll let you know now it's looking nice and stocked look how small this one looks in comparison to the one I just got <laughs> Uh, I didn't even know this was a real size, but I tried the faded cream yesterday for a little bit just like quickly after and I don't like the smell of it, but hopefully it works. It says only to use it like once a week and then move up. So I'm going to try and see if it works. I will body the smell if it means that it works. So tried this and I really liked it. I just need to be cautious because I think I use too much and it's very easy to like go heavy handed on it. So don't want to run out of it just because I'm being heavy handed. So I need to like know how to use a little bit. It's just difficult I think with the little spatula. And yeah, this is the one I was talking about. I really like it so far. Um, but also I feel like I am a little heavy handed because I have to just use my finger, but it's all good. And just my other essentials here. First day of fall. I can't believe summer is finally over. I was just like reminiscing a little bit and I can't believe that summer is over and that my trip to San Diego, which was like three weeks long, so long. It feels like it was so long ago. It feels like it was a year ago. And it was in June, it was the beginning of summer. Um, and I haven't even planned when I'm gonna go back. But I feel like I want to go back soon because it does feel like so long ago. And I've been loving fall. Well, the idea of fall, I guess, because it just started. But I've <laughs> been loving it because the weather has been really nice here. And it's no longer as humid and like gross out. Like it is sunny. And it does get hot, but like it's bearable. You're not just sweating standing outside. And I'm really excited for it. And excited. I'm definitely going to like plan a trip to Central Park. And just other parks in general to see the trees change like the leaves change colors all the fall jazz that i really need to get into today i just got out of two meetings like back-to-back -back meetings and it's always with the it's like the all hands meeting with the entire company and um the president just went on like a tangent like the ceo president i forgot what his title is <laughs> um just like on a tangent and just completely zoned out because he was i don't even know talking about what like him growing up brushing his teeth he wasn't good at it and i don't know what and i'm like okay clearly you need to say goodbye um but i do have one other meeting today two maybe i don't know if the other one is optional I need to check in with my manager about that but other than that like pretty chill day it's another one of those days where it just frankie and i here a um, little gloomy outside, but it feels nice and cozy to be in here. So overall, good day. I just flipped over the camera viewfinder and <laughs> realized this is how I look. But I ended up not even checking in yesterday because nothing really eventful happened. We just saw uh, the new Bachelor in Paradise episode. We weren't able to see it since we were out at the movies on Tuesday. And it was a good episode, so I'm excited for next week to see what happens what happened at the hotel <laughs> um right now i'm just gonna drink my coffee and should be like an easy day it's gonna go by fast and i'm really excited for the weekend so i'm gonna end the vlog here so i could start the new video but thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't i'm excited to have you here and i'll see you on the next one bye